banana leaf shapes look freaking awesome. There's no question there. And there was just a big announcement saying that these will soon be updated with thread technology, allowing them to act as a thread border router for your smart home. So today we'll discuss that and what maybe that means. We'll discuss my experience using these shapes, how practical are they in real life, how they integrate into our smart home, and maybe most importantly, are they worth that high price tag because they ain't cheap. Let's go. Sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. All right, so Nanoleaf has kind of made some noise in the home kit and the smart home world lately with the release of their Essentials line of thread-enabled lighting products. And just this week, they announced at their live event that their Nanoleaf Shapes controller will be receiving an update, allowing it to become a thread border router. Now I did a whole video on Thread not too long ago. I'll put a link to that in the description, but in a nutshell, Thread is a low power wireless networking protocol for the smart home. It allows your devices to create a secure and reliable mesh network with really no single point of failure. It's kind of like all the best things about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee without any of the drawbacks, really. And I don't know if you caught that, but yeah, I did say that these will become a thread border router. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We're gonna come back to thread and all that in just a minute. First, let me tell you all about these Nanoleaf shapes. Now, if you're not familiar with them, these are light panels that can really transform any space into something, well, much cooler really. Nanoleaf sent me some of their triangle shapes to try out with my smart home. So thank you Nanoleaf for sending me these. They did send me these free of charge, no strings attached so that I could try them out for a review, but you're gonna get my honest feedback and opinions regardless here on this channel, just as always. So with that said, they sent me the triangle shapes smarter kit. Yes, I said that right. This kit includes seven triangles and they also sent me a triangle expansion pack that includes an additional three triangles. They also make hexagon shapes as well as mini triangle shapes. And the cool thing is that they can all actually connect together. So for example, you can buy the hexagon starter kit or smarter kit and then get the mini triangle expansion pack if you want and combine them together. So the kit that I have cost $199 US and the expansion pack cost $69 US. I told you they ain't cheap, but Nanoleaf did also hook me up with a discount code just for you guys. So I'll put that in the description below to maybe help out a little bit with that high price tag. Now I've got to admit, I've always been a little intrigued by products like these. You know, I was that kid in the fifth grade with black lights and neon posters all throughout my room. That might have carried over into my college years actually, but even these days I have grown up a little bit, I guess, but I still love using light strips or any kind of accent lighting in my house. And it's even better if I can integrate that into my smart home. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with these shapes and home kit and soon with thread, which we'll get to in just a minute. First, let's take them out of the box. It does feel like a really premium product thanks to you know really nice packaging. The triangles are 7.75 inches in height, nine inches wide. They are 0.24 inches thick and 0.39 inches thick when mounted. They're very light at only 0.31 pounds. This kit comes with a 42 watt power supply with an 8.2 foot cable. So one of the things that always sort of kept me from getting something like this, aside from just the high cost, is actually having to commit to a design layout or a permanent place to put these. So I was like already kind of stressing out, trying to figure out how I wanted to install these. I mean, there's like a thousand different configurations that you can really set these in. And I don't know, I guess I was just having a little commitment anxiety maybe. So I looked through the little inspiration cards that they sent a bunch and even some of their inspiration sections online. Then I just figured I'd lay them out on the floor and try to figure out a pattern that I could actually commit to. 
I still couldn't commit. Then I actually realized that they have an amazing layout assistant feature in the app. So this was a lifesaver for me and maybe one of my favorite things about the app. You can choose which shapes you have and how many you have and then create as many layouts as you want there in the app. You can save them, share them, and it even has a VR mode that you can actually put the configurations that you create up on your wall in augmented reality. This helped me out so much in just feeling good and actually committing to a layout. Anyways, once I got through all that, I did my measuring and I chose where to place the first panel and then just attach the others from there using the little connectors. You can install these on the wall using the provided sticky pads. Supposedly you could pull these off later without damaging the walls, but I'm not so sure I'd try that if I didn't really have to. The mounts also include screw holes if you prefer using that method. The panels can actually disconnect from the mount to make taking them down and reinstalling them later a little bit easier. And I do want to mention real quick, they do have a lot of really helpful information and videos regarding installation and all of that on their website. So I'll link that below. I do recommend really looking through all that and taking your time when you are installing these just to make sure you get it right. Once I finished getting these things installed, wow, I was really impressed. They looked freaking awesome. So let's talk real quick the specs and then we'll get into HomeKit. So the triangles are 80 lumens per panel. That's very bright. The lumen output will depend on the actual shapes that you get. So like the hexagons are gonna be a little bit higher and the mini triangles are gonna be a little lower just due to the, you know, the surface area of the shape. These are RGBW, meaning you'll get really nice whites as well as colors. They feature touch control, music sync, and screen mirroring. <laughs> claim 25,000 hours of use. They connect to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. You can connect multiple shapes together using what they call Connect Plus. So again, you can combine any of the triangles, the hexagon, or the mini triangle shapes together. They support Alexa, HomeKit, Google Assistant, IFTT, and SmartThings. Oh, and they also come with a two-year warranty, which is awesome. You can control them using the controller included. They say this is the brain of the Nanoleaf shapes, and this can be attached to any of the available linker slots in your layout. And like I said, this will soon get updated also to act as a thread border router. It has a power on off button, a dim and brighten buttons, a next button that lets you cycle through the default or the saved scenes, a shuffle button, and then there's a next color scene button that cycles through the default or the saved rhythm scenes. Overall, the controller is nice. It integrates pretty well into your layout. Now they don't give you that like tactile button press that I kind of like. It's more of like a touch button. There is a little indention for the icons on the button so you can kind of feel for them, but I still found them pretty hard to tell which is which even when there was light, much less when the room was dark. But who needs buttons? We've got Siri. So to get these into HomeKit, open the Nanoleaf app and select My Devices, and then choose Add Device. Then choose the shapes that you have, and then you'll be asked to scan your HomeKit code, which is located on the power supply and in the manual. And that's it. Now your lights are paired to the Nanoleaf app and added to HomeKit as a new light. Now, to be honest, you can really do a lot with the Nanoleaf app. In your dashboard, you can see and control all of your home kit rooms and accessories. If you open your shapes, you can turn them on or off and control the brightness. You have a number of default scenes that you can use, rename, or delete. So you have color scenes and rhythm scenes that'll react to your music or voice. You can choose favorites and even create playlists with multiple scenes. And of course, you can create new scenes to match your style, your layout, or your room. The settings gives us the ability to turn on or off touch control, double tap to turn the lights on, swipe up for next random scene, swipe down for the previous scene, swipe left. Now you can configure these gestures however you want, and these are actually a pretty cool way to control and adjust your lights. 
Now touch actions is where it gets a little interesting. This upgrades your light panels into smart buttons for your HomeKit home. Simply choose a panel and enable it as a HomeKit button. Then you can assign a single tap, a double tap, and a long press to control any of your other HomeKit accessories, just like a HomeKit button. And you can do this for every panel in your layout. This is awesome. This just makes me wanna put these little things everywhere just to have another cool way to control my smart home stuff. I was thinking this would be so awesome for like a kid's room, you know, just as another way to control their lights or home kit scenes, stuff like that. But it also just looks so cool. It would be awesome for a kid's room. Now, let me blow your mind real quick. If you jump into the Apple Home app, after you enable a panel as a button, you'll see a new home kit accessory for that panel as a button. Of course, you can configure it to turn on accessories just like you can in the Nano Leap app. But if you scroll all the way down and choose convert to shortcut, now you can create additional logic as a shortcut to be triggered by your touch panel. Now this is really cool. I made one panel just as an example that when I tap it, it will change the shape's color based on whether or not there is rain in the forecast. Come on, how cool is that? All right, I'm getting a little excited with all that. Let's get back to it. If we head back to the Nano Leaf app, you also have an auto brightness feature that will adjust the brightness level based on the brightness level in the room, which is pretty cool. I haven't really played around with this too much myself just yet. And there's some other features here like scene transitions, color calibrations, there's a backup and restore feature, all of which is real nice to have. Now the scenes that you have in the Nanoleaf app will automatically carry over into HomeKit or the Home app. So all those default scenes will be there. Unfortunately, there isn't really a way to pick and choose from what I can tell. It's either all or nothing. But with that said, it's really great that we can access these, you know, dynamic scenes and effects in HomeKit and you can even include them as a part of a bigger scene or automations with your other smart home accessories, which is really nice. Now, I briefly mentioned screen matching earlier. You do need to download the app on your computer to take advantage of this. From what I've seen, you can't do it on a TV. It has to be done from a computer since you need that desktop Nanoleaf app. Additionally, your shapes can be controlled by the music in your room, which can be really fun. I found this to work pretty well. The light panels can also react dynamically to your touch. So this is one of my favorite things and my daughter absolutely loves this too. This just makes it feel almost like an experience more than just a decoration, you know, if that makes sense. It feels very interactive. All right, let me take a quick second, real quick to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Now, don't skip ahead. I know we like to skip through the sponsors, but I'm telling you Skillshare is really awesome if you're like me and like to learn new things. You don't have to rely on crappy YouTube videos like this. I'm just kidding. I hope you like these videos. I actually work really hard on them, but there are a lot of crappy YouTube videos out there. I think we can all agree, uh, which is what's so great about Skillshare. With Skillshare, you can get access to an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes and topics, no matter what you're into, and they're all like really good videos. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, like one I recently found called Animating in Procreate by acclaimed illustrator and animator Danny Fisher Shin. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I'm a big fan of drawing on my iPad, and now I'm using this course to learn how I can actually animate those sketches on my iPad. Really cool stuff. It's less than 10 bucks a month with an annual subscription and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of their premium membership. Definitely worth it. Check it out, hit the link, get that free trial. It also helps me out, you know, that lets Skillshare know that y'all like it and they'll be like, cool, all right, let's work with Shane again. So check them out, explore your creativity and thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this recent thread announcement. As I said in the beginning, the shapes will be getting an update allowing them to support thread. 
Nanoleaf says this update will roll out sometime in June. So this update will allow your Shapes controller to become a thread border router. This means that all thread enabled products will be able to connect to the Shapes controller via thread. No need for any other thread hub. So again, without getting too deep into thread and how it all works, you have to have you know, a thread border router and that kind of connects your thread network to Wi-Fi. So far, the only thread border routers for HomeKit has been the HomePod Mini and that new Apple TV. But now, or once that update rolls out, the Shapes controller will be able to take on that same role as a thread border router. So I know it's all a little confusing. I'll definitely test it all out and share updates and everything like that once this all rolls out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I do like to post a lot of you know behind the scenes and testing and stuff like that that I'm doing on my IG stories over there. And I'll definitely do that with these also. Now regarding these shapes, let's get to the important part. Are they worth the money? Because like I said, they ain't cheap. Well. Let me put it like this. If you decide to pony up and pay for these, you won't be disappointed. I know they're expensive, no question, but you know, sometimes you spend a lot of money on something and then you just kind of like feel bad about it. I think if you get to the point where you are willing to drop the money on these, I think you're gonna feel really good about them. Put them on the wall, they just, I mean, they're awesome. They look really good. And especially if you like to tinker and play with things, you just have so many possibilities with all the scenes and everything you can do within the app and with HomeKit. The panels and the app all seem to be really well executed and thought out in my opinion. It definitely feels like a clean finished product. Plus, soon they'll get that thread update which may make them even more appealing to you for your smart home. So I'm loving these. Having these in the studio is really kind of motivating me to get to work and finish making over this whole studio up here that I've been kind of setting up. I recently added a new Apple TV and I installed one of those Nanoleaf Essentials light strips up here, you know, with thread support um, in the studio. So I'll be sharing more of that here on the channel soon. If you want to see that process, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those future videos published right here every Sunday. If you are building a smart home too, check out some of these other videos right here on the screen that might help. Also consider becoming a channel member to help support the channel and get some extra perks. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, we'll see y'all later.